Hey everyone, I'm David from Van Clan, and we're here in beautiful Squamish, British Columbia. We're taking a look at Pura Vida vans and one of their builds, which is a beautiful 4x4 massive sprinter. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this is the monster we're talking about. It's a 2020 4x4 10 speed diesel. On the front, we have a Cascadia 90 watt solar panel. I think that's pretty box. All the bar work is done by Stoked right here in this exact same lot next to Pura Vida. It's all local, it's very cool. So we've got a front bar. We've obviously got some extra lighting. And up top, you can see there's a crazy amount of spotlighting going on. Now around the side, we obviously have our steps and slider panels for protecting the body. Because it's a four x four, they're obviously gonna be going on a little bit more excursions that you wouldn't take a two wheel drive. So you need that extra protection. On the front, they decided to go with a black Rhino wheel with BFGs. It's a little bit bigger of a tire size. I believe these are 33s, so they're beefed up. If you notice, the suspension is a lot higher. This is an agile off-road Fox suspension, and it is killer for this thing. Around the side, we also have our CR Lawrence windows, which are installed onto the van. And in addition, to get up to this massive full-length roof rack with 300 watts of solar, a Thule rack, and extra gas tanks, you have this step-up ladder. Okay, so around the back of the build, we have a rear tire mount right here. We have some backup lights. And I think a really cool thing about this build is it came together through community. So a bunch of sponsors made this build happen and I think that's why this thing is so insane. Okay, so around the final side, we have our massive awning. And then we have the main piece, the guts. So inside the vehicle, you can see that it is beautifully crafted and put together. So when you first step in, obviously you have the iconic sprinter step, which houses some storage. So you can put your dog leash, your shoes, whatever you like. We have the kitchen. So this is the kitchen countertop with our faucet and sink combo. And on the inside, it's pretty spacious. I mean, I'm 6'6", and I'm still able to stand a lot better than in our van. So there's tons of room here. There's a bench seat. This bench seat is really cool. It's modular, so you can take that cushion off. You can slide out an extra bed from the back, which lays out right here, and you can have an extra bed. And then on the side of the Sierra Lawrence windows, we have Quest Overland window covers. So these things are really cool. They're magnetic, so you can fold up half of them and still use that mesh screen below on those windows. In the center of the build is our kitchen. So this is a stove and oven combo. You have lots of counter space with an extra 120 volt there. And then below, tons of pot and pan storage. You can see these are really well made. Pure Vita Vans does a really great job installing all this. It's absolutely beautiful. Today's van tour is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. There are thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people on topics including illustration, photography, video, freelance, and more. Want to tell engaging stories on Instagram? Check out Haliz Navarre's class on Instagram stories and learn all you need to know in less than a minute. I've been super into weaving lately, so I'm watching Kali Mack's textured stitch techniques. I'm finally at the point where I need a bit of a challenge. That's the great thing about Skillshare. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, Skillshare's classes have exactly what you need. It's curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads, and they are always launching new premium classes. 
and the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description below get a free trial of the premium Skillshare membership. Happy learning! So in the main space, we have carpeted ceiling that runs front to back with our 12 volt puck lights. We have a max air fan in the center above the kitchen area. And along the side, we have our cabinetry. So there's tons of storage in the cabinetry. There's these uh, funky little RV bubbles. So you know how level you are. They're in most RVs, lots of storage. And then the back one here, we've got a couple controls. So we've got the Renji battery monitor here. There is 300 amp hours of battery in this system. And there's also a 2000 watt Xantrax inverter. And on Pure Vita vans, they do all of theirs with a fridge switch. So you can turn your fridge on and off based on what your system requires. So on this side of the van, there is the kitchen surface. It's a huge tabletop. There is the faucet and sink that I mentioned before. It's a very deep sink. Uh, below there's lots of cabinetry. So this is where the uh, toilet normally goes. It's outside of this build at the moment. Just behind it, we have our cabinet for gray water. So this is the gray water storage and there's some other storage here like a cutting board and a step up stool. All of these cabinets are used for utensils and extra storage. So here, we have cups and mugs and all the utensils. As you can see, there's tons of it and it is deep. There is so much room to store stuff in this build. On the opposite side, we have the isotherm refrigerator. So this is the slide out one. Below it, there's more storage for pots and pans. And here you can store your clothing, anything large, um, like your helmets for mountain biking, stuff like that. On the opposite wall, we have the Max Air Fan controller. This is the controller for the awning. And then this is the dimmer for the bed lights. Uh, below here, this is the access to the garage, but it has a really neat function to it. So if you're a bit smaller, of a person, not like me, but if you are, there's a extra step up here. So you can see you can fold that down when you open this up and you can step up to get to the bed much easier. So in the back of the rig, we obviously have the bed set up. So this is a queen size bed and on either side of the bed, there are little porthole windows that you can slide open. There are reading lights on either side, as well as in this corner, a small 12 volt fan for those hot summer nights. Below the mattress is a system to keep airflow beneath. Here in Squamish, it is very humid all the time. And this is one of those places where you get bed mold and stuff like that. This will help prevent it. So let's take a look at the garage of this build. So when you first open this up, you can see the shower heater here. So you can have a nice heated outdoor shower. On both windows, there's tons of pocket storage. And then when you take a look at this door, there is so much room in here. So you can fit your mountain bikes mounted to the rack right here. On this side, we have the 70 liter or 15 gallon water tank. It's fill port. This here can be used to wash off your bikes at the end of the day before you store them. There's switches down below here. So you've got your switch for your lower lights and switch for your water pump turning on. This here houses tons of containers for your storage. It's just so that it's uh, more organized and easy access. And on the opposite side, we have this area, which has a 120 volt housing, 12 volt. You can shut off your main battery as well as turn on the upper lights. Below here, this is the housing for the propane tank. So it's vented outside and you can access the propane right here. Hidden behind this wall is the 300 amp hours battery as well as the battery system. This right here is the storage for that bed in the front for that extra bed. 
You just unclip it, it slides right out. And this is the cover for the bed to make it nice and comfortable. Obviously that porthole where you can access the main part of the van. And one thing that's unique is they have routed the diesel 44D heater to both heat the storage area as well as the main space through the exhaust port.